All right, I've got another little mobility option for you for those of you who are getting headaches or suboccipital tension type headaches. And this is almost a preventative thing. Some of you people might have or get headaches, but leading up to that, you're feeling really tight and a lot of tension in your neck generally. And you feel like it's stiff and you want to crack it and things like that, but it's not turned into a headache yet. Well, this is to help you try and prevent that headache blowing up on you and get rid of all that mobility issue you've got going on now. What I'm using is one of these things. This is what we call a body ball. And this is brilliant for the two parts on that either side. This is where you, if you get in here and you feel tension right on that side or that side, maybe it's both sides, maybe it might be one side more than the other, and that's where you feel like it's tight and that's where the headaches come from. This is where this is gonna go in for. And we're gonna use a yoga block to elevate it and then we're gonna go through some strengthening tools for the actual part of that spine using the band, which is the one I love the most. So this one, there's two options. I want you to work on suboccipital, so below the skull, and then down on it sort of about C7, T1 area as well, because that's usually stiff. Because usually with tension acts, if you're sort of say sitting down or you're in this position, that's why it's getting tight. Okay, you also, you, so you'll be tight here, but you're also tight there. So we're gonna use this to loosen up both areas and that'll free you up so you, you'll feel like you're freer in that position. First one, and the reason why I use a block, I'll show you. If I, if I don't use a block and I put this on the ground, I'm gonna put this in the back of my skull. What tends to happen is that's all fine and good, but I sort of have to rest it on the skull to support it. If I try and put it on the sub it'll just slip down like that in the back of my neck, okay? So what I use is a yoga block, Put that there first. And this does elevate you forward, but that's okay, because we're stretching. Put this in sort of round about the middle of the block, and then move yourself so you've got the ball, well, the two balls, sitting on either side of those sore spots. So it just sits just below the edge of the bone of the skull, okay? So you can sort of feel it there, right? Now from that point there, what I then do is then go into extension a little bit, so it rolls up, and then I can go into flexion and stretch the tissues and it rolls down. So it's like massaging a ball through and back the area that's tight, right? So I'm just going sort of slowly forward. The weight of my head gives me the pressure on the ball. And I'm just going to find all those spots. You just go right up to the spot where you feel it's got to be good pain, remember? So if you've got a full on headache, this is probably not the right thing to do. Okay, if you've got to, sometimes it relieves it, but this is when we talk about, this is prevention, right? So you're trying to massage and get that good pain of where all the stiffness in that tissues are and try and just slowly loosen up back and forth. And that should feel quite good. Now, if you're one of those people who's got pain on one side, say you feel like you feel like the right's fine, the left one, oh, the left one's on, that's where you get the left side of headache. Then what you do is after you've done that for a little bit, maybe two or three minutes, you then actually rock your head to one side. So if I'm going, if mine's problem's the left side, if I look left and tilt over, I can then get the ball right in the back and I can hunt around. And that's like a you know, physio getting there and massaging that spot out and see if I can find exactly the right spot and sit there for a bit. I can also just roll back and forth all the way over because the ball, that body ball is locked into the block like it's because it's, it's quite grippy, so it's not gonna slip around. So I can sort of move around without it moving out of place. And then I can go up and down on one side, okay? I can then go to the other side, so go back to the middle, go to the other side, so it's lifted off this side, push down on that side, same drill, find around, go hunt around and find those really spots. It's a really good relieving sort of pain. So that's an excellent one for loosening that up, it's brilliant. Next thing I want you to do, because if, if that's tight, usually high your thoracic, sort of upper thoracic type. Now this is a little bit different than doing the extension over the roller, especially if you don't have a roller, these things are really handy for you to travel with as well, is you put that sort of on the block, right? But then you need to get up onto it. So this is, gets a little bit tricky, because you have to get it in the right position, you have to practice a little bit. Hold it on around about your T1, lift yourself back a bit, just enough to then to lock it in place, okay? So if you can see that there, it's sitting right sort of on the big bump there. And what I need to do is then have my hands on my head and I'm just gonna hinge back over it. Now, it's okay to sort of flare up in your thoracic a little bit. I don't, I don't mind it, you don't have to hold your thoracic down too much. You can actually just cradle your head, relax the head, and then focus on tilting back 
not going too far, creating too much pain, just trying to stretch it out, backing off when you come forward, tilting back, and letting that ball and the weight of you arching over it stretch you out, which is like a PA movement in physio. So when we mobilize, we're pushing through that way, it's the same movement, you've just got a bit of mobilization with the movement. And again, this is a really nice one as a preventative, loosen you up in that lower cervical, upper thoracic, that sort of hinge point where everyone's sort of shoving their head forward at a computer or driving. This helps not reverse it, but loosens it up. So when you are sort of sitting, you feel like you've got better movement through here. You're not sort of so stuck forward. You're more likely to sit in a better position. Plus the looseness triggers that release here, stops that headache building up. So those two are really, really good mobility tools to use at home for that sort of headachey type problem. I always get people strengthening though. So, you know, it's all well and good loosening it up. That's great but if you pre find there's a bit of strength loss you've got there as well. Now there's quite a few different strength options. We use balls, we Swiss balls. If all you've got is a band, then something like a wide TheraBand, okay, it needs to be flat like that because it's going around the back here, not a tubing, but a wide TheraBand is good use. Of course, the grade will depend on how strong or how much strength you need. The green's a heavy one, that's what I use. So this needs to go around something that's not going to move. Now at home, you could just use your like a doorknob, okay, or a door handle. You don't have to use a frame like this. Could even be the sort of the top of a, uh, uh, a leg of a dinner table. Tie it around once, okay, make sure it's tight, doesn't move. This part, put that knot around that way, this part needs to go up at head height when you're kneeling, all right? Now what we're gonna try and do is an isometric, I'll show you this way, isometric retraction, all right? So retraction meaning that way, okay? You, which is the opposite of you with your terrible posture that way, all right? This goes around the back of your head and you'll feel the muscles going up into the occipitus, occipital region getting worked, okay? And that's the strength thing we need. We don't need to do reps with this, it's just isometric because that's how that muscle is gonna function when you're sitting. So think of like, okay, that's relatively, as long as you can see me here, relatively level, all right? What you're trying to do is make sure that you pull your head back, so get it around your ears, pull your head back till it's nicely in line rather than your body back and then your head forward. You don't want it pulling your head forward, you want to counteract that, and so when you pull back, that position is vertical at the back here as much as you can. So you're really trying to be upright, pulled back into a little bit of retraction. Now in this position, obviously you can't see my face, but this position, if you can hear me, I've got my buttock on here. I'm trying to use a bit of leg. I've got my core on, because I'm trying to use a little bit of spine and abdominals to hold my spine in position. And that'll help the postural strengthening process. And then I've pulled my chin in. So I'm using a little bit of anterior muscles in the neck and a little bit of posterior muscles in the neck as well to hold me in this position. I'm gonna train myself to be like that for 30 seconds. So with enough pressure here, you should feel that working in the back there. Now obviously you don't want too much because you don't want to ramp up a headache, especially if it's weak, you don't want to strengthen it too much and load it up. But that one is really good as an isometric load. How long? 30 seconds at a time, maybe about three or four of those after you've done the mobility. And you'll find that the mobility stuff loosens it up. This cranks up your blood flow, okay, and helps reduce some of that sensitivity. And then you get in there and go, oh, that's not a sore, okay? Plus, it's on that pathway for you to get a bit of strength when you're sitting and standing to stop your head caving forward like that. So if you've got those sort of suboccipital headache type problems, give it a crack. I'm sure that'll help. See you next time.